What's good everyone, my name is Chef Koch and today I want to talk about a legendary underground rap collective, the Five Finger Posse. Five Finger Posse is a rap collective based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, founded by 5G in 2015. The group consists of 5G, Alvin Abyss, Morg, Sub9K and Young Mojo. They all were friends already before the music because they would skate together and had the same music taste, ranging from underground rap to metal music. At that time, the music scene in Philly was quite boring and no one except maybe Lil Uzi was popping off, so Mojo and Morg decided to take matters into their own hands and start a rap duo, but they ended up inviting their three other friends to the collective, forming the FFP group. They were musically inspired by Lil B's Spaced Freestyles, Space Ghost Perp and Metro Zoo. They came up with the name Five Finger Posse from the slang Five Finger Discount, which means shoplifting, and I believe the pentagram also influenced them to take this name, since Penta is Latin for five. Now let's get to know each member a bit, starting with the group founder 5G. He was born and raised in West Philadelphia, but also has Jamaican roots. He used to go by the name Five God when he was just a graphic designer. He came up with his name in 2011 because he was deep in numerology and thought the number 5 was fascinating due to the 5 senses. And that's probably another reason why his group is called 5 Finger Posse. 5G releases solo music as well and my favorite song by him is V6 with Sub9K from the Freezer Burn EP. Next Alvin Abyss. I didn't find much on him but next to his music career he also is a fashion stylist. Other than that he has versatile musical influences as he even made a horrorcore tape with Oogie Man in 2016 and my favorite track by him is No More Tears. Next on the list, Sub9K. He grew up in Brooklyn, New York, but later moved to Philly, where he befriended the other future FFP members. 9K started out as a producer and he was heavily involved in the early work of the now prominent group Surf Gang, as he was friends with Evil Gianni. 9K also has a brother who makes beats, who goes by the name Bass Decepticon, he's kind of an honorary member of the Five Finger Posse and regularly produces for Sub9K. I would recommend the tape Devil Trigger if you want to get into his solo work, I personally really enjoyed it. Then we have Morg, who is from North Philly and was a graffiti artist before making music. I couldn't really find any other information about him, but he makes solo music as well, being musically inspired by underground rap but also black and death metal. My favorite song by him is Smoking for Hours. And last, but definitely not least, Young Mojo. He has Haitian roots and is from Feltonville in North Philadelphia, an infamous area for high crime rates and drug problems. Mojo even went viral on Twitter for this picture, proving that Feltonville is just as beautiful as you'd imagine. Mojo makes solo music as well and my favorite song by him is Zoo. Now let's talk about their music in the collective. FFP released their first project called The Bitter End in April 2016. This tape is more focused on dark trap and features production by working on dying. The collective followed that up with the release of Trapped in the Trenches in July 2016. This tape was executively produced by Working on Dying and would become their most prominent tape due to its classic thread sound characterized by hard hitting and high tempo instrumentals with reverb heavy synths and wide 808s. This sound was created by Working on Dying members and Five Finger Posse were one of the first artists to hop on this wave. The WOD beats work very well with FFP's dynamic rapping. Their relationship is very organic as the posse already knew the Working on Dying group before making music since they are all from Philly after all. Therefore it is fair to say that the FFP collective was on the forefront of the sound and they can be considered as thread and underground rap legends because it is probable that the thread sound would have never taken off that much if it wasn't for the posse. FFP released their next record behind enemy lines in 2018, again proving that they are the avengers of the thread subgenre. Since they built a solid reputation in the underground with their last project, they managed to land some music videos on the No Jumper channel, the majority of those being shot by the legendary underground videographer Mosh Pit. The collective followed that up with the tape Fifth Season in 2020 and The Fatal Sting in 2021. I really enjoyed the last project because it encapsulates the classic thread and dark trap sound they birthed with Working on Dying, while also using new flows and cadences, as well as trying out new subgenres like Sample Drill. Next to that, I really enjoyed the single Opposite from 2020. On their last records you will find frequent collaborations with Wi-Fi God and Trip Jones, but the posse also made music with Space Ghost Perp and Lil Tracy amongst others, so therefore they are quite present in the OG underground scene. 
Nowadays it is pretty quiet around Five Finger Posse and they don't release music in a collective anymore, but as you know, each artist has their own respective discography where you can find more recent music. But who knows, maybe we will get blessed with a Posse comeback eventually. Overall I have to say that their 5 year run in the underground from 2016 to 2021 already was amazing and I really enjoyed the group's dynamic, creativity and consistency on their collective songs. They inspired many underground newcomers, especially in the dark trap and threat subgenres. Also their musical influences are very versatile, ranging from underground trap to metal and witch house. That's how the posse acquired an exquisite taste for selecting their beats and creating their own universe in their songs. That's why in my opinion Five Finger Posse will go down as underground and threat legends in rap history. Definitely go check out their music if you haven't yet, and with that being said, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like and comment which artist I should cover next. Cheers!